Now, in the very first video, I said that a lot of the techniques we're learning come with a bulk of restrictions. And regression analysis is one of these techniques. So when we're doing a regression analysis, we always have to make sure that um, neither of the four very basic assumptions are violated. And these four assumptions are as follows. So the first assumption we make is that we need to have a linear relationship between the variables. And you already know how a linear relationship looks like. But there are other relationships, like an exponential relationship, for example, that looks like this. So this is a, an exponential relationship. Or there could be a quadratic relationship that looks like this. So this is a quadratic relationship. And if we would go and draw a straight line through there, it, it ends up like this. And these are not very good fits, so we would violate the assumption of a linear relationship. The second assumption we make is that we need to have independent errors. Well, a situation very common when you, you would have um, dependent errors is, is a time series regression. So if you're dealing with time series data, it could happen that you end up with uh, dependent errors. So basically there is some structure underlying the errors and it might look something like this. So you have your regression line and your errors are scattered in some relationship around your regression line. Okay, so this is very common for time series data and we don't, we don't want that. Um, the third assumption we have so the third assumption, and this is a very complicated word, is we need to have homoscedasticity. So homoscedasticity basically says that the variance of your error terms stays the same over time. So you have your regression line and your errors are scattered randomly around your regression line. And the variance of the error terms stays the same over time. Okay, so the variance stays basically stays the same. But if you have heteroscedasticity, this, then your errors are, or, or the variance of your error terms is not the same over time. So they might, the variance might start small but increases over time. So it could look something like this. Okay, so this is heteroscedasticity. The, um, the variance of the error terms is not the same over time. So it's not constant, okay? So the variance of the, um, of the error term is not a constant. And the fourth and very last assumption we have is that uh, we need, or that our errors need to be normally distributed. So the errors should be normally distributed around our regression lines. So 50% of our errors should be either above and 50% should be either below a regression line. Okay, so if we would draw a histogram of our errors, you should end up with a nice little normal distribution. Okay, so the errors should look something like this. Okay, and these are the four very, very basic assumptions assumptions we make when it comes to regression analysis. Um, what could happen if you would um, violate either one of these assumptions? Well, um, you could introduce bias or inefficiency. So for example, your uh, confidence interval might be too narrow or you could, or your T statistics might explode and therefore everything becomes statistically significant or um, your, um, your point estimates are systematically either above or below the population parameter. And we don't want that. So so every time we do regression analysis, we have to check whether our assumptions are violated or not. And if you say, oh, this was a bit too fast for me, don't worry, this video was dedicated to give you a very, very general introduction to the uh, uh, very basic assumptions of linear, linear, regre uh, of linear regression analysis. Um, there, will, 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 there will be a video to every single assumption and we will talk about what to do if these assumptions are violated.